O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. Hide not your face from me. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Alleluia, the Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Alleluia. Almighty God, and to whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, leading captivity captive and bringing gifts for men as we prepare ourselves to meet him here in the courts of heaven, let us call to mind our many failures and sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against thee and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and in earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the King of glory, who hast exalted thine only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph unto thy kingdom in heaven, we beseech thee, leave us not comfortless, but send to us thine Holy Spirit, to comfort us and exalt us unto the same place whither our Saviour Christ is gone before, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, 
they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot, and Judas son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Verses from Psalm 27, the response, I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. O Lord, hear my voice when I call, have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken, seek his face. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that is taking place among you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you are sharing Christ's sufferings, so that you may also be glad and shout for joy when his glory is revealed. If you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory, which is the spirit of God, is resting on you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith. For you know that your brothers and sisters throughout the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen and establish you. To him be power for ever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will be full of joy. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, that you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, 
that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence, with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. The words that you gave me, I have given to them. And they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, as we are one. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man and was crucified also for us of the Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Eternal Father, we pray for your church. We pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit, renewing your church over and over again particularly in these difficult times where so many are alone and the church is divided. We pray for the reviving and life-giving power of your spirit upon each Christian and upon those who lead us. We pray today for the Anglican Communion, the Archbishop of Canterbury as its titular head, and for the Secretary General, Archbishop Josiah, the Anglican Cons Consultative Council, the Primates Council, for plans for a forthcoming Lambeth Conference. We pray for John Arbyshire, 
Martin, Bishop of Dudley, Jonathan, Bishop of Eversfleet. We continue to pray this week for the Deanery of Worcester East. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Continue to pray for the world in which we live with all its many needs, for those who lead and guide and have authority over us, for wisdom, for insight, for mercy. We pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, and Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, for our Prime Minister and all the government, especially for the Health Secretary, for all who advise them, for all scientists and epidemiologists. We pray for the troubled places of the world, the places where violence doesn't cease just because of infection, for the people of Syria in particular, for peace and justice and freedom for all your children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this community, for Beecham, for Pindar, for the wider congregation of St. Leonard's scattered around the area. We pray for your blessing upon all who live here and those who serve us. For all who see this place as their spiritual home, for your blessing and protection and care upon all of us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and those who suffer, particularly for all those suffering from COVID-19 those who are self-isolating, those waiting for test results, those who are on ventilators, those who are approaching their deaths. We pray particularly for those who are isolated and alone. We pray for those suffering from any other kind of affliction, those awaiting diagnosis with cancer or recently diagnosed and many other serious complaints now worrying about their future. As we give thanks for those who care for us, we pray for our doctors, nurses, ancillary staff, researchers, technicians, lab assistants and all who in any way look after our health and put their own at risk by doing so. Among the sick, we're asked particularly to pray for Kate Hallett, Mark Jones, Rachel Wiggins, Jody Martinez, Steve Hyde, Shirley Goldthorpe, Julian Parry, Richard Alderson, Ruth Reed, Charles DeLorme, I know that you will give to them and all who suffer healing, strength and comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who've died, especially for those who've died of the coronavirus in the last day or so. Amongst those who've died recently, we pray for June Shul, our friend and resident, for Joyce Slinger, and for Ralph Mayland, priest. For those whose years mind fall this week, we pray for Hartley Brown, priest, one time chaplain, Robert Rovery, Harold Lethbridge, priest, Catherine Pembridge, Mary Wood, Lawrence Cox, Ida Randall, Lawrence Thomas, Phyllis Schillinglaw, Rona Tiley, Yvonne Clark, 
Bertiloid, Arthur Knight, priest. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. We commend ourselves, the Church, dispersed yet united by your Spirit, our troubled and anxious world, all those who join us in prayer both far and near, and all for whom we have prayed, to the love and mercy of God our Father, and to the prayers of our Blessed Lady, St. Leonard our Patron, and St. Rock, the Protector against Epidemic. O Blessed St. Rock, Patron of the Sick, have pity on those who lie upon a bed of suffering. Your power was so great when you were in this world, that by the sign of the cross, Many were healed of their diseases. Now that you are in heaven, your power is not less. Offer then to God our sighs and tears, and obtain for us that health we seek. The rock, pray for us, that we may be preserved from all diseases of body and soul. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick. Lift up all who are brought low we may find comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. May the peace of the risen Christ be with us always. Blessed art thou, Lord, God of all creation, of thy goodness we have this bread to set before thee, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed art thou, Lord, God of all creation, through thy goodness we have this wine to set before thee, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful people with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, our Lord. And now we give thee thanks that after he had ascended above all heavens and was seated at the right hand of thy majesty on high, he sent forth upon the universal church the holy and life-giving spirit, that through his glorious power, the joy of the everlasting gospel might go forth into all the world. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, 
we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of thy Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be unto us his body and his blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. When he had given thanks to thee, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For well, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of his kingdom. And with this bread and cup, we make the memorial of Christ thy Son, our Lord. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of thy divine majesty, renew us by thy Holy Spirit, Inspire us with thy love, and unite us in the body of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Saviour Christ has commanded and taught to us, we are both to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. The Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. I heard the voice of a great multitude crying, Alleluia, the Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. Blessed are all those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Alleluia. Father, I pray that they may be one, as we also are one. Alleluia.
eternal God, giver of love and power, whose Son, Jesus Christ, has sent us into all the world to preach the gospel of his kingdom. So confirm us in this mission that our lives may show forth the good news which we proclaim through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank thee, Lord, that thou hast fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all peoples. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Alleluia. God the Father, who has given to his Son the name above every name, strengthen you to proclaim Christ Jesus as Lord. Amen. God the Son, who is our great High Priest, passed into the heavens, plead for you at the right hand of the Father. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who pours out his abundant gifts on the, on the church, make you faithful servants of Christ our King. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.